Hi everyone, this is Colleen, and I just want to walk you through the JavaScript homework that you're going to be working on next. Um, you're going to start with code that's going to look like this on the screen, and what you'll be given is basically templates for all the JavaScript functions that I want you to write. So your job is to just change the JavaScript, none of the HTML. So if we were to take a look at it, here's your beginner, here's what it's going to look like at the end. Simply hitting the play button and the pause button should cause the video to stop and start. And as you notice, every time I hit play, I'll get a message to the console, same with pause. I will get a message for every single button. The next thing I'm going to show you is what slow down and speed up do. So slow down is going to basically um, slow down the, the video by 50%. So if I were to do slow down, it's going to be half and half and half. It gets pretty hard to hear. And speed up will do the opposite. If slow down halves it, speed up will double it um, up to full speed. So if I hit play video, you can see that as I hit slow down, it says the speed is 0.5, speed is 0.25, let's get it back up to 5, 1, 2, etc. Let's pause the video right there. All right, so those are the four buttons on top. Um, one of the things I didn't do a great job of pointing out is Originally, when I hit the play video, down here, this volume is 100% was initialized. So let me reset the screen. You can see at the beginning, volume is not set to anything. When I hit the play video, it shows it's going to be 100. If I click the mute button, it does two things. One, it mutes the video. And two, if you notice, the text in here goes from mute to unmute. It's the same button, just different text. So I'm going to hit unmute. And now it says mute, and it's loud again. I can also change the volume by moving this slider. Mute keeps it at the same spot as always. Oops, right there. All right, so that's all the volume and the speed up and the slow down. I also want to show you that as always, as I move, hit the mute and unmute, I get a message. Um, there's no message when I'm moving the volume button. I can just hear it changing. All right, the last three buttons are down here, old school, original, and random. So let me start the video again and kind of keep the volume down here. What old school does is it's going to use a grayscale class to get rid of the color and just put it in grayscale. The original puts it back to the original um, coloring. And finally, if I can go back and forth here, but if I decide to hit random, I actually get a kind of crazy skewed gray black and white. And there's no way to necessarily make it go right back to the beginning. All right. So I'm going to go back to the code for just a second. Oh, actually, before that, I'm going to show you that every time I hit random, I got a new grayscale and a new skew X, and I pinned out the values. So finally, if I go back to the code, I did want to point out that while you'll be changing the JavaScript, there's only one time you should ever be changing anything in the style code right here. And that's for one last little part that's kind of a challenge. And that is, I would like you to go in and change the buttons by adding an image so that you started with this, and I use images to change it to look like that. Um, since this is a challenge, I want to make sure you're not working with other students on it, um, you're not working with the GSIs. It's only going to be a little bit, but it's something I do want to be a challenge for you. So if you have questions, make sure to put them on the message board um, and just kind of work slowly bit by bit. Um, we'll be grading on both logging things to the console and also how it works. So one last time, I'm going to reset it. I'm going to do a play. Pause. Play. Speed up. Slow down. I can change the volume. Okay. Notice the whole time this volume is being updated. I can also use the mute button. And finally, old school, original, and random. Good luck.